In previous videos of this Desk Manager online series, we've covered the basic setup process and day-to-day -day use, relevant to all dealerships. In this video, we'll take a look at setting up and utilizing several optional features in Desk Manager Online. These features include creating tasks, submitting to integrated lenders, running vehicle valuations or vehicle history reports, processing payments, adding service contract plans, and assigning users to departments. Chapters break up the YouTube video into sections. You can skip to any section of the video by hovering your mouse over the timeline, clicking the name of the chapter, then clicking your desired chapter. How to configure tasks Tasks are an efficient way to organize, schedule, and allocate a wide array of duties throughout the dealership. They can be added to vehicles within the inventory list, to deals within the deals list, and to accounts within the accounting list. In this example, we will add a task to a vehicle. To add a task, navigate to a vehicle and right-click, or click the box on the right. Select tasks at the bottom of this pop-up. In this window, you can add a task by clicking New Task. First, assign the task to a user. Then set a due date for when the task should be completed. Establish the priority of the task. Tasks with a high priority will appear higher on the tasks list. Tasks with a low priority will appear towards the bottom. Lastly, assign a status to this task. The open status indicates that the task has not been completed. The needs more info status might be used when an employee doesn't understand the task and requires more information to complete it. The rescheduled status tags the task with a warning that its due date has been changed. The closed status marks the task is complete. Since we are adding a new task, we will select the open status. The status of the task can be changed at any time. In the subject line, summarize the task. In the large box below, include more details about the task if necessary. Then hit save. The task will now be included on the task list for this vehicle. To remove a task, scroll over the task in the menu and click on the trash icon. Anyone can see the listed tasks on the vehicle by opening this menu. But a more efficient way to keep track of tasks is through the tasks list. The tasks list is an organized overview of every task in the system that's assigned to you. Tasks can also be deleted from this screen. It's possible to navigate to the attached item for a task by opening the task and clicking Go To. This leads to the associated vehicle, deal, or account. How to submit to lender networks. You can transfer a deal from Desk Manager Online to one of our four integrated lenders. Dealer Track, Cuddle, Credit Lane, or Route 1. In addition to securing financing for a deal, you may also want to transfer a deal to a lender that provides e-signed services, such as Route 1 or Dealer Track. Before taking advantage of our integrated lenders, a small setup process is required. To begin the setup process, first click the Settings cogwheel. Under the Integrated Vendors category, select Lenders. First, let's look at Dealer Track. Please note that using this specific lender requires a subscription to our Dealer Track module. Verify your company information. After verifying, Include your dealer track ID. If you don't know your dealer track ID, contact dealer track. 
Once you've entered your ID, click, link account. It can take up to 24 hours for your integration request to be approved by dealer track. You can check to see if you've been approved by visiting this dealer track integration page at any time. Next, we'll look at Cuddle. On the Cuddle setup page, include your seller code. Contact Cuddle if you don't know your seller code. Whenever you're using a lender, be sure to click Show in List. This ensures that the lender will appear as an option when it's time to submit a deal. Then click Save. For Credit Lane, provide your Credit Lane login credentials. Then click Save. Lastly, we'll look at Route 1. Start by following the registration instructions below. By emailing Route 1 the requested information, they will begin the setup process on their end. You must follow the registration instructions, even if you already have a Route 1 account. They should contact you once the setup process is complete. Once you've started the registration process, include your Route 1 dealer ID at the top. Speak with Route 1 if you don't know your dealer ID. Now click Save. Once you've finished the lender integration process, you can send deals to your selected lenders. To do so, navigate to a deal. Click on the Lenders tab. Now click Submit to Lender. Choose your lender from the list. You may be asked to adjust certain details on the deal, such as adding a social security number for the buyer. Make any corrections as necessary, then submit. Your deal should now appear in the appropriate lender account. How to set up vehicle valuations Desk Manager online users can get valuations from either JD Power or Kelly Blue Book with the push of a button. Please note that vehicle valuations are only available through a subscription to our valuation module. To configure these valuation tools, first click the Settings cogwheel. Find the Integrated Vendors category and select Vehicle Valuation. Then select a valuation provider. Here, you can tell Desk Manager Online to automatically run a valuation from this provider whenever a new vehicle is added to Desk Manager Online. If your dealership uses both JD Power and Kelly Blue Book, you'll want to select a default provider. The default provider will supply the book values under the Values tab on a vehicle. However, the valuation from the other provider will still be available below. To swap one provider's book values with the other, click Use these book values. If you choose to not run valuation reports automatically, you can run them manually. Click the Get Valuation button to pull a report from the selected provider. In this tab, you may print book sheets from either JD Power or Kelly Blue Book. You may also print a window sticker that contains the Kelly Blue Book valuation. Please note that this window sticker feature also requires an independent subscription, in addition to the standard Kelly Blue Book module. How to set up vehicle history reports. Desk Manager Online can pull vehicle history reports from Nimbitus, Carfax, and AutoCheck after a simple setup process. To integrate with a vehicle history provider, click the Settings cogwheel. In the Integrated Vendors category, select Vehicle History Report. Select the provider that requires configuration. 
Each history report provider has a slightly different setup process. First, we'll look at Nimbitus. Nimbitus does not require credentials. So long as there are funds in your ePay balance, you can pull reports from Nimbitus. See our Desk Manager online day-to-day -day walkthrough video for more information on reloading your ePay balance. Choose the report type, format, and language. Then check the box for show in list if it isn't already enabled. This will ensure Nimbitus appears as an option in your Values tab. Click Save. Next, let's set up Carfax. Carfax requires the login and password information associated with a Carfax dealer account. Please note that you will not be using the same account information that you normally use to log into the Carfax website. Rather, in this section, you will enter a unique set of credentials provided by Carfax called your Partner Tools credentials. If you do not have this information, please contact your Carfax representative. Once entered, choose the report type. Then click Save. Lastly, we'll look at setting up AutoCheck. AutoCheck requires your AutoCheck dealer code. If you do not know your dealer code, reach out to AutoCheck and ask them to provide it to you. Now, save your changes. Your desk manager online is now ready to pull vehicle history reports from your selected providers. To run a vehicle history report, navigate to a vehicle from the inventory list. Click on the Values tab. At the bottom of this tab, you'll find a drop-down for your history report providers. Click the drop-down for the associated report provider to run, or purchase a report. How to set up payment processing. Desk Manager Online offers payment processing through WorldPay and Global Payments Integrated. By processing payments directly within Desk Manager Online, you'll avoid the complexity of payment processing software and ensure your open accounts are always up to date. To configure payment processing, click the Settings cogwheel. Under the Integrated Vendors category, select Payment Processing. Now select your payment processor from the drop-down menu. First, we'll look at WorldPay Setup. The payment processor and hosted checkout credentials are both provided by WorldPay. Contact your WorldPay representative for setup assistance. Under the Terminal section, Include the serial number found on the back of your POS device. Add a description about this POS device, such as its location. Then click Add Terminal. Your terminal should be added below. Click Save. Next, let's look at Global Payments Integrated. Global Payments Integrated provides the account tokens for your main merchant account and debt collection merchant account if you have one. If your dealership does buy here pay here, you will need to enter both the main merchant account and debt collection merchant account. The debt collection merchant account will allow recurring buy here pay here payments. For dealerships without buy here pay here, only the main merchant account is required. Contact Global Payments Integrated for this information and set up assistance. Once you've entered your account tokens, take a look at the options below. If you want to limit your payment processing options, such as not accepting debit cards, then uncheck Allow Processing. If Automatically Store Account Information is enabled, then Desk Manager Online will automatically save customer payment information after an initial transaction. By default, duplicate transaction protection is disabled. 
If you uncheck the box and enable duplicate transaction protection, Global Payments Integrated will not allow you to charge the same card twice, within a short period of time. Once you have configured your payment processor, you're ready to collect payments in Desk Manager Online. To do so, navigate to an open account. Click Collect Payment along the top. Enter the payment details, and then click Online Payment. You will see a confirmation message when the payment has been processed. How to add new service contract providers If your dealership regularly provides service contract plans, such as warranty, it's a good idea to add them in advance. Once you've added a service contract plan and provider, you can pull the plan details into a deal, with a single click. To add a service contract plan and provider, navigate to the Settings menu. Under the Third Party category, select Service Contract Providers. This is a list of every service contract provider you've added to Desk Manager Online. To add a new service contract provider, click Add New. In the General tab, supply the provider's name, contact information, and address. You can also make notes about this provider. Optionally, in the Identification Data tab, include the provider's account number, license number, or any other identifying information. Lastly, click on Service Contract Plans. In this tab, we can add plans provided from this service provider. Click Add Plan. Include a plan code as well as the coverage, cost, and price information. Now, click Save. You will now see the plan listed under this tab. If this provider offers multiple plans, you can add more by clicking Add Plan. Once you're finished setting up this new service contract provider, click Save. You'll now be able to pull the service contract provider and an associated service contract plan, into a deal, with the push of a button. How to add new departments Large dealerships tend to have multiple departments, such as sales, customer service, finance, and more. To add a department to Desk Manager Online, click the Settings wheel. Under the Organization category, Click Departments. This list displays every department in your system. To add a department, click Add New. Now enter the name for this department. If you need to delete a department, click the trash can icon on the right. Once you're done adding your departments, click Save. Now you can assign users to a department. To do so, click Users. Select a user. Under the Department field, assign a department. Now, click Save. Once you've assigned every Desk Manager Online user to a department, you can filter them from the user list. If you need personal assistance with Desk Manager Online, email us at support at automanager.com. You can also call our technical support line at 800-300-2808. To access optional subscription-based features, such as vehicle valuations or dealer track integration, please contact your auto manager representative.